No, you are not seeing things. I'm sitting with one of the most feared poker players in the world. J.C. Tran, who uh, started his career right here in Sacramento. You started at Capital, right? When you yeah, were a young guy, you yeah. played the limit games? When I was, uh, yeah, when I was uh, going to college, just turned 21, my, uh, my brother Sang brought me into, uh, it used to be the, the Sundowner, but now uh -huh. they moved to downtown and uh, renamed it to the Capital Casino. And that's when I learned my, sat down and learned my first uh, game of hold, you know, limit hold'em. Now, lots of guys, I, we see guys in there all the time. Uh, playing limit hold'em, but that's a long ways from there to making a living playing poker. It's such a grind. When did you know that uh, this is something that you could do for a living? Well, uh, when I first sat down, my first session, I won. So I, I knew I was pretty good at it, but I didn't know how good I was until I, 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 I left Sacramento to travel. I, you know, I took a few shots down to um, the Bay Area, played some no limit, mm -hmm. did pretty decent. Um, I feel like wow, I'm, at this pace, I can make more money than what my degree can make me. So I still stayed in school and got my degree basically to have something to fall back on if poker doesn't work out and, you know, to make my parents happy and, you know, my peers happy. And, and then, uh, you know, after I graduated, I went down to L.A. a few times to play some tournaments down there. You know, I heard big things about L.A. So I came down there and one of my first um, tournaments I played, I, I f ended up finishing fifth for like, close to 20 grand or something wow. like that. And I mean, I've never seen that money, you know, <laughs> being a broke college kid, I've never seen that money. So um, the following weekend I went down, I said, look, this is a good tournament. This is the one I finished fifth in the week before. So let's go down and play this one and, and see if I can, uh, can beat it. And uh, I went down <laughs> and I won it. And uh, I was like, wow, I, I think this is, uh, this is my future right here. So your, uh, your tournament success has been phenomenal, but, th but there's a lot of good players that will go through their whole careers and never get a World Series bracelet. You win your first one a couple of years ago. That must have been, was that like the winning the Super Bowl? You finally win yeah, your bracelet? Yeah, you know, I've won a lot of tournaments, but, but I've, I've, I've missed out on so many opportunities to win a bracelet at the World Series previous years. And, you know, two years ago, I finally won my first bracelet, and it was like all the pressure was just taken yeah. off of me. You know, people are like, okay, you won a World Poker Tour. You know, you won all these other tournaments. You won an online championship tournament. Where's the bracelet? Yeah. And finally, I won the bracelet. And I'm like, well, here it is, you know. And you won again last year. Yeah. The so and so I feel like with the pressure Tutor. being off of me, it, I come back and I play with less pressure. And I feel like it's, it's, it's easier to play with less pressure. And, uh, and, you know, I'm fortunate enough to get lucky and win my second one. And you cashed in the main event last year mm -hmm. I mean, was it like six thousand guys entered the main event at you know ten thousand per but you you cashed yes i went uh, i went pretty deep i think it's the deepest I, I went in uh you know my main event uh history i mean i played the main event since 04 and you know i had a couple like finishes in like the 117 you know but yeah. last year i went down close almost broke 100 108 i think I, I believe i finished and you know when you get down that deep and so close you know, you feel you can feel like you can reach out and just grab the title. Yeah. But you know, going through five, six, seven days of playing six, seven thousand players, I mean, you get down there. You know, a lot of a lot of a lot of people would be happy to finish that deep, but it was more disappointment than, for me than anything. So hopefully, you know, th that'll bring me more motivation to come back and do better this year. Lots of people want to know about the people they see on TV all the time. You uh, you got into it with Phil Helmuth not too long ago. Tell us about that. Tell me that story. Um, you know, you guys going? like Phil are great for TV, you know, um, you know, people see t uh, Phil at, on TV as being a brat, a little whiner, a little crybaby. Yes, but yes, I know, yes. I know Phil pretty well. And, you know, he's a really <laughs> nice guy. He's a great guy. What he's doing on TV, it's a show. I mean, it, it comes out naturally, but I think it's because of the cameras, the attention he's getting. Um, it comes out that way. But if you were to sit down and play with Phil, you know, in a private room, no cameras. You might see a little bit of that, but you won't see at it as dramatic as it is on TV. And uh, you know, he, he's he's great for TV. He's a great player. I never take anything out of it. Uh, I just recently played a tournament with him in Vegas, hundred thousand dollar buy-in. Uh, I bluffed him, a uh, really big bluff with like <laughs> with like four or five or something like that. And he jumped out of his chair. He's screaming and he's yelling and he's <laughs> cussing and he's calling me out, playing him heads up. And you know. I know it's just all for the moment. He's he's upset. <laughs> At the end, he came by, he shook my hand. He said, "You know what? Great play." You know, he even blogged about it. He said, "You know, I got outplayed by JC today, and you know, you know, 
that's what great poker players do. They all play each other. And I have a lot of respect for him. And, you know, what you see on TV, that's not – I mean, you can't judge him just by that. I mean, he's a great person. He does a lot of great things for the community and charity work. And, you know, he's a nice guy and all. I mean, I respect him a lot. And, you know, that, I really don't – look at watch tv and say oh that's the phil helmet i know yeah. that's not him i know him be you know you know in front of cameras behind cameras so i have a lot of respect for him this year um the world series of poker tournament of champions is going to be a little bit different and i just went on the website mm -hmm. and 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 uh i said oh it's going to be a voting deal yes right uh so they, they've got a lot of players past champions bracelet winners mm -hmm. but uh so it's not gonna be like a, a closed invitational deal people get to vote for who they want in there so uh so yeah i found jc tran on that list is that uh, p people can vote for you now yeah yeah if you uh go to uh, wsop.com uh you'll see in the top right hand corner of the site it's, uh, it says tournament champions top 50. um you can vote please vote for me um if you, if you think i deserve it uh you can vote for 20 players but um in order for me to move up in the voting, you just probably have to vote for me. Let's only. just go with one. Let's yes, just vote yes, for you. <laughs> yes, because if you vote for me and 19 other guys, those other guys will vote right. for the as well. And right. the thing here is, it, um, by them doing this, it's great. It's fair. You know, uh, people people can vote to see who they want. You know, to to, to see who they want to play and et cetera. And and um, you won't get the same guys over and over who a lot of people say don't deserve to play. And uh, because it's invitation only, they get to play. But now the public can vote. And uh, if you feel like I deserve to play, you know, please vote for me, you know, WSOP.com. And uh, it takes you three minutes to do it. All right. We're getting into the World Series of Poker season uh, this summer, so we'll all be watching uh, for you. Poker is a hell of a game, and there's no better representative anywhere than J.C. Tran. Thank, Thank you very much. Great to see much. you, son. Thank you. I'm Tom Nakashima, 96.9 The Eagle at ESPN 1320.